Hello everyone, welcome back to Code Studio. And in this video, we'll be discussing the editorial of the uh, problem Rivers and Concatenate, uh, which appeared in the uh, round Code Forces round 770 Dev2. So before moving any further with this video, I would suggest you to go and read the question, try it on your own and uh, reach out to the editorial uh, after that because once you try it on your own, you might get uh, any idea and then you don't need to uh, watch this editorial. If you're stuck somewhere or unable to find a solution, please come back to this editorial and see it. So I'll give you a brief description of what is happening in this question before moving any further. So basically here, as you see, you're given a string s of length n and number k and there's a function called reverse of s which is basically a string reversal that is if you have a string called abc a reverse of s will turn it into cba and there are two given operations in this problem which is s plus reverse of s and reverse of s plus s which is basically you take the s and take the reverse of s and then you concatenate it all right or you take a reverse of s and s and concatenate it so you get two strings as output uh, if you perform any of these two operations and you need to find out after performing these kind of operations k number of times how many uh, how many unique number of strings are at the solution level. So I'll explain you with uh, two to three examples and you might uh, find a pattern in this. So let me just explain you with a small test case. So let's just take s equal to a a b and a reverse of s is equal to b a a in this case as i have told you it's just a reversal of string and in this case k is 3 that is you need to perform uh, the two operations that is concatenation three number of times so uh, initially the two operations let us write the two operation s plus reverse of s and the other operation is reverse of s plus s so on performing the first operation that is k equal to one time that is exhausting one k operation we get a a b b a a as the answer and in this case we get b a a a a b so in the second case you'll observe the pattern from second case so the reverse of uh, this given string is uh, basically the same string itself and in this case also it is the same string itself and on adding it uh, in any of these two possibilities that is s plus reverse of s or reverse of s plus s we get the single string or the same string that is a a b b a a a a b b a a and in this case we get b a a a a b b a a a a b all right and for k equal to 3 it's the same case you get the same uh, string here as um, the reverse and in this case you get this uh, same string as reverse and on concatenating it you get a long string and a long string so uh, let's just say after k equal to 100 times also you get a single string here and a single string here that is after any k operations the final answer you'll be getting is 2 uh, why is this happening? So let's just examine what is happening after k equal to 2. Uh, after k equal to 1 basically, you're getting a palindrome. So palindrome is evidently uh, a string which uh, repeats after the center, right? So this is AAB, BAA. So on comparing uh, from the middle, it is same on both sides, but uh, it's just an opposite. So on concatenating two palindromes, you get another palindrome again. So on reversing it, you get the same thing. So palindrome is evidently what a string on reversal, which is the same string. All right. So after performing k equal to 100 times also, you're getting the same thing. So from this given example, we can observe that if the given string is uh, not a palindrome, all right, if the given string is not a palindrome, the final answer that you get is 2. And let's just, let's just examine the second case, which is let's just say that let's just take the uh, string as to be a palindrome initially, which is a, b, a. Okay, the reversal of this will be a, b, a only. And uh, at the first operation itself, that is after k equal to one only, we get uh, both of the answers, that is both of the unique strings same, which is a, b, a, a, b, a, on adding it at the front or at the back. So what you observe from this case, if the given string is already a palindrome, you get a single answer. So our solution has become quite simple here. If e is palindrome, so e is palindrome is a function which returns if the given string is a palindrome or not and uh, taking the string input. If this is a palindrome, our answer is one or else our answer is two. Now I'll also explain how to uh, get this uh, given uh, function, which is this palindrome. All right, so let's just take any string, a, b, b, a, um, a, b, b, a, which is basically a palindrome by itself. So we'll take two pointers in this case, a start pointer and an end pointer. So if both are equal, we move the start pointer uh, to the next and end pointer uh, to the next. So we so we are basically taking two pointers, we are moving it to the center. So we'll check every time if both are equal, which is basically what happens in a palindrome. If at any given place, the element at start is not equal to element at end or the element at first pointer is not equal to element at end pointer, we break the loop and the return false. 
which basically tells this is not a palindrome and if uh, it successfully reaches the center and uh, everything is same we tell it is true so we run the uh, loop until the center of the string that is until first pointer is less than uh, last pointer so this is how we plan on uh, executing the function is palindrome so let me just go to my code editor and uh, code along uh, so yeah uh, so here we are uh, in our code editors ready and then I've copied also the test cases here and I've added a small snippet which basically tells my compiler to take an input from input.txt and uh, give my output to output.txt. So uh, in the given question, we are given t test cases. So we are handling t test cases. And for handling that, I'll use a while loop t minus t minus. And then for each test case, we are given uh, three inputs that is basically n, k and string. So we'll handle for int n. I'm taking in n and k and then after n and k what I'm basically doing is I'm taking the input of string all right so here I have to perform a small check operation is palindrome of s then I'll basically see out one as my answer uh, or else I have to uh, see out two but there's a small edge case in this case what happens if k equal to zero that is no operations are performed on a non-palindromic string if there are no operations performed on a non-palindromic string the initial string is returned uh, to the output that means if k equal to zero we return uh, only the initial string that is uh, we return c out one so if k equal to zero we basically return c out one uh, and in the else case we will return two so this is what is happening here, but I have to build this a uh, small function called east palindrome. So what I'll do, I'll create a bool east palindrome, which takes in an input of string s. Uh, what I'll do, as I told you earlier, I'll create a start variable and I'll also create an end variable, uh, which is basically s dot size minus one that uh, clearly indicates it starts from the end of the string, that is end uh, letter or end character of the string. And I'll run the loop from start less than n so I'll, uh, I'll start from start less than n. So we'll, like, we'll start is less than n, we'll just check if uh, string of start uh, is not equal to string of n, that means the checking operator fails and we return false, which means the given palindrome is not a proper palindrome or else we'll increment start and decrement n, which basically moves the two pointers inside. And if the, and if the given string passes through the whole this loop, we'll return true. Uh, which is basically by which basically states that the given string is a palindrome. So let me just run this through the given compiler and see the, the outputs. Uh, right. So what happened is so what happened here is basically I have taken start and end here. So this is uh, what I have to do when when start is not when the passing operator passes. That is if it if it is equal then I'll move the uh, pointers right. So after running through this. So I'm getting the answer is 2211, which is basically what the test case clearly defines. So let me just copy this uh, given uh, solution and submit it to the code forces judge. So I'll go to submit, choose A, and then submit the problem. Uh, so this is stating the pretest are passed or the question is passed. I hope you have clearly understood the question. Uh, please like, subscribe to Code Studio, and share it with all your friends. Thanks and bye.